my channel. If you are new here, my name is Caitlin. I make videos about wife life, motherhood, and lifestyle. Um, if you haven't already seen the last video that I posted, we actually moved into my family's farmhouse. Um, so check out that video after you check this one out so you can see an empty farmhouse tour. Kind of give you a little tour of the house before we moved in so it's more so empty. And so today we're actually going to show you how it looks now that we've moved in. We're getting a little bit more settled. Um, there's a little bit of decoration but we definitely still have a lot more to do like hang stuff on the walls and things like that. Um, but we are excited to show you what we've got so far and if you are ready to see our moved in farmhouse tour go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and let's get started okay so we're gonna start off right in our kitchen um, when you come in from the back porch which we'll get to another day because it's still a mess for moving um, you can go into like a little bathroom as you can see it's just a little half bath with a bathtub that we really don't use. <laughs> but that is right off of the kitchen. So um, if you can remember from my last video with the wall here, remember there was like that cross, um, I don't know if it was like a painting or if they traced it or what exactly. Um, but we did end up painting it white like we said we wanted to do and we still do want to build some floating shelves so I'm excited about that. Um, that would be fun to kind of decorate there. We have not done our cabinets yet. We definitely want to paint our cabinets. Pretty sure we're going to go all white with black hardware so I'm excited about that as well. Um, from the kitchen, we're going to go ahead and move on into our little dining area. Oh yeah, we did get um, the stools that we picked out for the little breakfast nook, which we really like using this, especially with the kids, like remote learning. Um, this seems to be the spot where they can sit here and I can kind of be going back and forth doing stuff around the house and still help them out. But we actually got these stools, um, babe, you want to show them over here, like come around this way. Um, these used to be like silver, almost like what, like chrome, and we spray painted them black, or he spray, spray painted them black. Um, but both of them for $30 off of Facebook Marketplace. So um, I highly suggest Facebook Marketplace for furniture and stuff. And then over in this corner, like it's kind of looking crazy right now. This will be like desk area. Um, we do, the kids are remote learning, so they're at home doing their school, and so I kind of keep their school stuff there. I want to hang like the calendar up and things like that. Um, we've got our table with our bench. Um, we do plan on getting like a bigger rug to go underneath. I, under, I know it's kind of small, but it works for now. We had to get some new curtains because we just weren't a big fan of the color that they were before. Oh, and then the walls used to be like a tan color and we painted them white. We definitely got just like, we just needed to brighten it up a little bit. But as you can tell, we need to hang some stuff on the walls. Just a few things that doesn't need too much. Um, so then walking into our living room, um, imagine like a rug under the coffee table and like some throw pillows on the couches because that is coming soon. Um, it's kind of bland right now. But I did kind of decorate the fireplace um, for fall a little bit. I feel like I might play with it um, a few times until I really get it how I like it, but I think it works for now. I got all this stuff at the Target dollar spot, so um, definitely check out that if you're looking for fall decor. And let's see, oh, and the walls in here as well. Um, again, if you check out the video that I posted last of the empty farmhouse tour, the walls were like a light green and a dark green. And we debated about doing like white and maybe like a dark gray or black on the bottom, like a two-tone like they had before, but we just went with all white. So again, we need to get some like artwork or something up there. Um, our bedroom is not nowhere near done we're gonna completely like redo it it's super minimal right now but um like we want to get like matching nightstands we need some things on the wall 
my husband needs to put his clothes away, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. But um, we kind of we hung up our TV above our dresser. We're using the girls' old dresser, so we kind of want to like sand it down and repaint and everything. But it works for now. And then um, I will go ahead and meet you upstairs. Okay, so now that we're upstairs, we're gonna head into our bathroom, um, which is much bigger. And this is really the bathroom that like we all get ready in and stuff. Um, definitely plenty of room for a family of five, which is great. We're not a huge fan of like the yellow tone that this room is, but we're working with it. Um, you know, and then, oh, and then the closet. Um, again, if you look back at that last video, this closet was, I thought we were gonna have to completely get like all new shelving, but I was able to find all the pieces and kind of at least put it together for now until like if we ever want to completely tear down and redo it. So at least we're able to like store our stuff in there for now. Um, oh yeah, so we're gonna move into, not much to see in here. We haven't really done much to it, but we're gonna move into our son's bedroom, LJ. He is five, almost six. Um, I would say this room is probably the most complete. I feel like it really doesn't need much more. The wall color was already this color, which was perfect for him. And he already had a lot of this decor from his last bedroom. And then like these movie sign or posters, um, we actually had like a movie theater like in our basement our, at our last home and I didn't really want to go for that vibe for our living space um, in this house so I thought it was so perfect to take the Toy Story one and like the superhero one for his room so that worked out good for like decor and stuff and then we have a couple shelves back here he keeps like his um, Nintendo Switch stuff here and I always love that sign, don't grow up, it's a trap, it's funny. Mm -hmm. And then I also really like his closet. I feel like um, if you walk like all the way in the closet, you can see how much storage space he has. Like we have like his backpacks here, his shoes. So yeah, this is LJ's room. Um, we're gonna go ahead and did you show him like the little like his books and we can keep his um, toys and stuff in there and his TV everybody has a TV in their room and then um, moving on to our youngest she does have the biggest room in the house um, Penelope she just turned three so this is her room if you seen the last video, um, the walls were yellow, I believe, like a yellow goldish color. And so again, we went with all white, um, but I do have some really big plans for, not really big plans, but I do have an idea for like an accent wall on this wall. So I'll definitely show you guys like what I'm gonna do or how I'm gonna do it and, and how that turns out. So I'm excited for that. And then um, got her bed in here. She's got a little kitchen. She loves this, what, the, what used to be a train table for our son. Um, she's obsessed with animals, dinosaurs, anything like that. So she's got tons, um, not even shown here. And then our kids are outside playing. So yeah, we're just making sure they're good. Um, so this, that needs to be cleaned, but you know, she is living her best life. Um, I love this little table and stools that go with that. And then she has a dollhouse, um, just lots of things for her to do in here with a three-year-old. It definitely keeps her busy. And then her closet basically just has, um, this is basically where we store all of her clothes. So it works. And then the last bedroom we have is Kaya's. Oh yeah, we have this little mirror that I wanna hang like on the wall. I think that would be really cute. And definitely have to, I wanna hang like some bookshelves and, and more signs and stuff like that. So then moving to the last room of the house, which is um, Kaya's. She's our oldest, she's 10. And we actually um, have a special guest on her bed. We recently, a couple months ago, got a little kitty. Her name is Oakley. Oakley, you wanna say hi? Oh, she's 
she's taking a little cat nap. This is Oakley's our kitty. But this is Kaya's room. Um, Oakley loves to lay in her bed. And really, we don't really know what exactly we want to do in here. I know she definitely needs some stuff on the walls. But the color was already this blue and these white curtains were already here. And she already had these white um, like storage organizers. And we do have a white headboard coming. We're going to be working on that soon. So she'll have a nice white headboard. So I think like the white furniture up against the blue walls looks really nice. Um, and then she also has a closet, but I don't know if it's a mess or what. But um, that is pretty much it for the house tour as far as like in the house goes and just moving in our furniture and everything. Okay, so if you made it this far into the tour, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you haven't seen my empty farmhouse tour, you can watch that after you finish this one. Um, I would please subscribe to my channel because we have a very exciting couple videos coming up next. We actually have an addition to our house um, coming, so I'm super excited to show you guys that. So please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next videos. And I want you to comment down below what you think our next addition to our house might be. Hmm. Comment down below what you think that could be. And again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.